Hello, good evening to all of you. Myself, Mohammad Ayaz Khan, and I am a Science and Technology faculty at Next IS. Before we start the discussion on the questions, uh, a very important piece of information for you. We will be continuing with the CSAT discussion immediately after the GS on the same link. So, you do not have to bother uh, about the different links. We will be continuing here. So, let us see the question. The questions were obviously quite conceptual, and we will see how they can be solved. So, question number 22 in set C, with reference to street lighting, how do sodium lamps differ from LED lamps? So, sodium lamps like which we have seen the conventional bulbs and all, how they differ from light emitting diodes. So, first, sodium lamps produce light in 360 degrees, but it is not so in the case of LED lamps. So, this statement is right. How come? This in case of sodium li uh, lamps, the light is produced in 360 degrees, but in case of LED lamps, it is less than that, it is around 180 degree, fine. So, this is statement is correct. As the street lights, uh, sodium lamps have longer life span than LED lamps, this statement is incorrect. The average life of sodium lamps is around 14,000 hours which goes to 40 to 60,000 hours, 40k to 60k in case of LED. Hmm. So, this statement is incorrect. The spectrum of visible light from, from sodium lamp is monochromatic, almost monochromatic means only one wavelength is there, while LED lamps offer significant color advantage. So, they have a larger wavelengths uh, in terms of lights which is being provided from them like we have seen that yellow bulbs so it is yellowish mostly. Hmm. So, that is uh, correct statement 3 is correct. So, uh, is correct answer for this particular question is C. Hmm. So, this C is the correct answer that is 1 and 3 for this particular question hmm. fine. So, this is was uh, this was the question now next uh, let us see this term ACE2 hmm. is talked about in the context of genes introduced in the genesis. So, first let us talk about ACE. Huh? Basically, it is, a, it, is an, uh, it is the term used for the enzyme which is found on the surface of the cell. So, it is a protein on cell surface. And it is it has got multiple roles, but we will not be having a, a 30 minute lecture on ACE2. And let us see basically this gene was used by corona to cause the infection. And this gene is found on the surface of the cells. Huh? So, now if we know this much of information, so genes introduced in the genetically modified plants, it has got nothing to do with the GM. As I said, it is found on the surface of the cells, where which is used by the uh, coronavirus to cause the infection. So, obviously, this statement is also incorrect, development of India's own satellite navigation system, that is IRNSS, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, radio collars for wildlife tracking, that is also not there answer is spread of viral disease. So, question number 23 answer is D. Hmm. Now, move further hmm. to question number 26, which one of the following is a reason why astronomical distances, astronomical distances are measured in light years, basically it is light years here light years. Huh? So, the distance between the earth and the star or anything like this we measure in terms of light here. Distances among stellar uh, bodies do not change. Okay, this, uh, this is not the reason distances uh, among the stellar bodies can change. There is a, some concept called expansion of the universe and expansion of the universe means the movement of the galaxies away from each other. So, this cannot be the reason. Question number uh, statement to gravity of stellar bodies does not change. Huh? So, gravity of a particular body uh, does not address uh, the cause or the reason why we are using light here to measure the distance. Hmm? Okay. Light always travel in a straight line, live obvious light uh, can be banned, uh, can band in case of uh, dark matter and that is known as gravitational lensing. Hmm? So, gravitational lensing is possible where the light can bend or rather it bends. Hmm. So, this is also not the reason 
answer is the speed of light is always same in a particular medium. So in space, the medium is same. So speed will always be same. So distance you will be getting will obviously can be measured easily with the help of that. So question number 26 answer is going to be D. Hmm. Then question number 35 with reference to the recent developments regarding recombinant vector vaccines. Huh? Recombinant vector means combining the genetic material, genetic material from two different sources. Huh? So fine to have a genetic material of new source. Take adenovirus vaccine, which we say COVID shield, huh? or if you can say this thing, uh, hmm, uh, Sputnik. So what we have done in we took a virus, adenovirus, which causes common cold. Huh? And in that genetic material of the adenovirus, we added a gene of common, the coronavirus. So fine, this is what we call as a recombinant vector vaccine. So it is called the genetic engineering is applied in the development of these vaccines. Genetic engineering means manipulating the, manipulating the genetic material. So when you are adding the genetic material of the coronavirus to the genetic material of adenovirus, that is very easily the manipulation of the genetic material, that is genetic engineering. Bacteria and viruses are used as vectors. Vectors means carrier of the gene. Hmm? So we can use bacteria, we can use virus, we can use bacterial DNA called plasmid as a carrier. Hmm? Any one of them can be used. So here both the statements are correct and if both the statements are correct, answer for question number 35 is C. Hmm? So question number 35, C. Hmm? So now move further. Question number 36, hereditary disease, in the context of hereditary diseases, consider the following statements. This question obviously was asked last year in the form of pronuclei transfer and I'm, I, I can say with a lot of pride, it was verbatim asked from the class notes. Those of you who have done the class, you know very well we discussed this and I can have a proof also while after discussing this particular question. So mitochondrial DNA, this question is about mitochondrial DNA. Mitochondrial DNA comes only from mother, hmm? that is it, it never ever ever comes from father. So question number, statement two is right. Hmm? A child inherits mitochondrial diseases entirely from mother and not from the father. Passing on mitochondrial, let's see the question, statement number one. Passing on mitochondrial diseases from parent to child can be prevented by mitochondrial replacement therapy either before or after in vitro, in vitro fertilization of egg. Yes, there is before in vitro fertilization, it is called spindle transfer and after the in vitro fertilization, it is called pronuclei transfer pro nuclear transfer. The statement one is also correct here. Hmm. So here the correct answer is C. Both the statements are right for question number 36. Got the point? Now here, hmm. this is the proof. This is the proof that we discussed this in the class in the next try years. And here you can see pro nuclei transfer, spindle transfer, mitochondrial DNA, and there is a line, mitochondrial DNA always comes from mother, always comes from mother. It cannot get more direct than this and I am saying with a lot of pride that we discussed it, we discussed it here. Hmm? So now move further. Hmm? Question number 37, ball guard 1 and ball guard 2, ball guard 1 and ball guard 2, these are the terms which are used for Bt cotton. Bacillus thuringiensis, which is having pest resistance introduced in India by Monsanto Mahiko Biotech Limited. Bolgard 1 was introduced in the year 2002, Bolgard 2 was introduced in the year 2006. Okay. Bt cotton is a GM crop, genetically modified crop. So see, what are the, what are the options? Clonal propagation of crop plants, we are not talking about clonal propagation, we are not talking about the cloning of the plants, so this is not the answer. Developing genetically modified crop plants, this is the answer, this is the answer. Production of plant growth substances, I said genetically modified. 
production of biofertilizers that is absolutely not the answer this can be as easy as it can get in upsc and again again i will say with lot of pride i will say with lot of pride we discussed verbatim in our class look here these are the class notes ball guard 1 here ball guard 2 huh and ball guard 3 not permitted that's why it has not been asked hmm clear now move further consider the following statements consider the following bacteria fun fungi and virus which of the above can be cultured in artificial synthetic medium of the three virus to culture to culture means to grow you need enzymes means that plant or animal cell must have the enzymes without enzyme the culture cannot be done so among the three virus is the only one which does not have enzyme and if you see virus is the only one not having the enzyme this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer this cannot be the answer so which one option is left answer is a 1 and 2 only bacteria and fungi can be cultured huh so this is question number 39 then move further hmm? and again directly from the class notes you can see here there is no enzyme in virus when virus that is why virus multiplies only in living cell only living cell means they cannot multiply they do not multiply outside living cell and what was the question which of the following above hmm, can be cultured <coughs> it always require a living cell others don't require a living cell means they can be cultured in the synthetic media fine yes great hmm. okay <coughs> now move further question number 40 consider the following statements adenovirus have single strand dna adenovirus means which causes common cold common cold whereas retrovirus have double stranded dna genomes this statement is incorrect adenovirus have double stranded dna and retrovirus has got they have rna as the genetic material so this statement is incorrect common cold is sometimes caused by an adenovirus it is there in front of you and aids is caused by a retrovirus so here is statement 2 is correct means b only 2 okay so this is it this was the science and technology portion i was supposed to discuss with you and my best wishes for your result and i wish a grand success to all of you uh in the future exams of mains and interview and finally getting those three alphabets in front of your name okay best of luck thank you